Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video I'm going to be taking this little matchbox personnel carrier from 1976 and I'm going to use it to make a little diorama with an explosion. So the Matchbox wiki is a little bit messed up for this little toy at the moment, but I believe they were produced in the late 70s and part of the Superfast series. There are a couple of different tones of green paint. Now I've had a good look through pictures on the internet and I can't find a personnel carry that looks exactly like this, so I'm guessing it's just a Matchbox design. Maybe somebody out there can let us know more in the comments. So let's just take a closer look. So it's a sturdy little beast. It's made out of two metal parts. And then there's the little guys inside it. There's three of them missing their heads there. And it's missing a gun that swiveled around on the turret there. It's a nice chunky base on this little model. And you can see it's been on a few missions because those tires are fairly worn out. So let's get on and take it apart. There's one post holding this car together. I'll just drill that out. There's a tab at the front there. The windscreen was in there quite firmly. I had to use these pliers to pull it out. There's a little sort of split pin thing going on holding the gun in place. This was actually a bit tricky to get out as it had gone quite soft and rubbery. To remove the wheels, I'm going to use a cutting disc on my rotary tool. Unfortunately, at this point we had our first casualty. The flexi shaft on my cheap rotary tool has finally given up the ghost. And we'll try again with a nice new higher quality rotary tool. Just try to make sure you don't cut into the casting. And with those wheels removed, I can now strip the paint off of the castings with some poly stripper. I just paint it on the paint wrinkles and then you can wash it off in some water. And here are the castings with the paint removed. Now I can give them a tidy up with the wire brush on my nice new rotary tool. The chuck actually used to have a little bit of play in my previous one and so it moved around a little bit while you were working. This one is nice and rock solid so I should be able to do some more detailed work with it. And here are the castings after burnishing. They're looking a lot cleaner and more shiny. You can see there's some quite cool details here on the body. Some shovels and picks, and some wire cutters, an axe and a jerry can on the back there. They'll be fun to detail. I'll move on and paint the castings now. I start with some white primer. And I hit the bottom of the base with black primer and then the sides with white. Now I'm gonna paint them both with this Vallejo Military Green. I 
I sprayed a little bit of thin down white over the body of the personnel carrier. Although my paintbrush was being a bit spurty for some reason. Not to worry, I moved on and detailed the shovels and the picks, etc. And then I applied some black wash to it. And likewise, a black wash was applied to the base. Moving on to the plastic parts, the little soldiers aren't too grubby, I don't need to clean them. But as you can see, three of them are missing their heads there. So I'm going to work that into my diorama. To begin painting them, they're given a coat of white primer. I use the military green to paint the benches that they're sitting on. I then paint their uniforms in a lighter olive green. I don't have to be too accurate with the green paint at this point except where their legs are sitting on the benches. Once their little green uniforms are dried, I paint in their faces and hands. I'm going to have to start being a bit more careful now not to go over the lines. So there's our little hands and faces coloured in. Some of those faces are a bit rough looking. Next I paint their boots black. And here they are with their boots painted and I've also painted their helmets there. And I'm just going to finish them off with a soft toned wash. Now the windscreen is that lame green and I did consider replacing it with clear plastic but there's nothing on the interior and you're hardly going to see it so I'm just going to weather it heavily with some dust weathering powder. You might also notice I've drilled out the hole on the top of it there because I'm going to be putting an LED light through it. And here are those worn out old wheels, but they're going to be fine for our diorama. I am going to zhuzh them up a bit though. I start by threading them onto this piece of bent wire here and I paint them black. And then the rims are painted in the military green. The hole in the top of the cab was also a little bit too small for my LED to go through as well, so I had to drill that a tiny bit larger. And so here is the little LED I'm going to be using. 
This is just an LED off of a string of like fairy light things and I've cut off all the other lights so there's just this one. The lights cost me about three dollars. I'm going to make my explosion now. I'm going to start with this little wire frame that I've made. Now I'm going to stick some of this fluffy stuffing onto it here just to shape it into my explosion shape that I want. This is then painted from the bottom up with red paint and the top down with black paint. So here are all the parts of our personnel carrier after customizing. They'll be ready to go back together again. But I'm just going to put them aside for now and move on with the diorama base. I've got a couple of pieces of extruded foam I've cut out here and stuck together. And I've used my foam cutting wand to cut out a couple of small craters here and there on it. I take some small pieces of sticky cork board and I'm going to stick them around the edges of the crater. Here we are with the cork in place. I'm just going to trim up these bits that are overhanging here. Now I'm going to take some of this filler or spackling and I'm going to build up the ground surface of my diorama with it. Here it is a few hours later once it's fully dried. Now I'm going to paint it. I start with some tan. I'm just using a cheap acrylic. And once this was dried, I applied some burnt sienna that was sort of thinned down a little bit. I cut out a little hole in the base so that I could fit the battery pack for the light. Next step was to add some dirt to the diorama. I begin by covering it with watered down PVA glue. I give it a good coating there. And now I'm going to sprinkle on this dried dirt. This is just dirt that's been dried in the hot oven and then sieved. Once it's nice and covered with the dirt, the excess is tipped off and then I gave it a good soaking with scenic cement. And here it is the next day after it's nice and dried. Now I'm going to start adding some grass. I'm going to begin by painting on some watered down tacky glue where I want my grass to be. Next I sprinkle on some scatter grass using a couple of different blends here. Again it's given a good coating of the scatter grass and then the excess is tipped off. After this has dried a bit, I apply some more glue and I'm going to put on some static grass. This grass will stand up and be a bit taller than the scatter grass was. 
So here it is after the static grass has been applied. Now I'm going to add some loose dirt that's been blasted out of the craters. Again, I start by painting on some tacky glue where I want the blasted out dirt to be. And I'm going to sprinkle on some more dried dirt. There's a few bigger chunks in this as I haven't sieved it as much. Once I was happy with this, it was given another light coat of the scenic cement to hold it in place. And I'm going to finish my craters with some ground up black pastel, which I'm just going to add with a brush here. Again, this was fixed with a light spray of the scenic cement. With my diorama coming along nicely, I can move back to the personnel carrier. Here I've put it together, but I haven't put the wheels on. I'm going to add some dust weathering powder, and then I'll fix all of this with a matte varnish. Here you can see I've painted the wire to the LED black. I'm going to thread it up through this hole I've drilled in the diorama. There she goes. And now I'm going to thread it up through the wheel well of the personnel carrier and through the hole in the roof. now put the wheels back on to the model. These are just glued in place because they're not going to need to roll. And here it is glued in place on the base. And I'm going to stick my explosion on over the top of the LED. So there are all the steps that it took to make our little army diorama. But just before we take a look at the finished article, let's take a moment to look back and be reminded of what we started with. A battle-worn little matchbox super-fast personnel carrier from the 1970s. It's seen plenty of action with its worn-out tires and paint job and three of its poor little soldiers have lost their heads. So let's see what we can make out of it. And here it is, our completed diorama. Our personnel carrier carrying these poor young soldiers into the battlefield, and unfortunately they've been hit by a shell. It's hit the gun turret on the personnel carrier, a flaming, smoking explosion, and shrapnel flying out, decapitating three of the poor soldiers. It's all happened so fast that nobody's even had any time to react yet. This was a fun project to make, and I think it came out looking pretty cool. The LED light was really cheap and easy to install. Yeah, I think it was something a bit different and an interesting use for the little personnel carrier. You can let me know what you think in the comments down below. A big welcome to all of my new subscribers and a big thanks to everyone for the great comments and likes on my videos. An extra special thanks to my awesome Patreon supporters who help to support the channel through Patreon. If you'd like to join them supporting the channel and helping me keep making videos like this for you guys, you can check out my Patreon page. There's a link in the description below. Thanks heaps for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends.